What's up everyone, my name is Mr. Drillicious and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can use one of these two easy to use shout out animations to your stream using Leo on board. Now of course a shout out can be used in many situations, for instance when someone comes in with a raid or of course sometimes you just like to shout out your friends. Now these animations make it super simple to show off their Twitch URL together with their profile picture and of course with a chat message where people can easily click on their links. Now as with all of my products you can download it completely for free or you can pay me what you want if you want to support me over on my Kofi shop. Now in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set it up in both Leo on board and OBS and I'm going to show you how you can customize it yourself. So without further ado let's take it away. Now before we can start installing these effects to your own stream, you need to make sure that you have a couple of things installed for them to work properly. Now of course we're going to be using OBS Studio, sadly these effects don't work in Streamlabs OBS, so like I've said before, if you're still using that, I highly recommend switching over to regular OBS because there's a lot more things you can do with that. And of course we're going to be using Leon Board, and for both OBS and Leon Board we're going to need a couple of plugins and extensions, all of them are linked in the readme file that you found with the download of this effect. So make sure that you have all of them installed before you move on with the next part of the tutorial. And if this is your first time installing plugins in OBS, I actually made a nifty video that you can find over there on how you actually install these plugins. And once you've done all that, you can move on to the next step, which is actually installing this effect in OBS. Now, once you've downloaded this effect from my Kofi shop, you actually get a zip file with a couple of files inside of there that we're going to need. And the first thing to note is that there are two different versions of this effect. And before we're going to move on, you need to decide which of these versions you want to use. So here's an example of version 1. And then here's an example of version 2. Now decide which of these two you want to use for your own stream and then you need to install that particular version in OBS. And the way we're going to do that is actually very simple. If you've installed all the prerequisites that are listed in the readme file, there's actually a plugin that we're going to use for that. And the way we're going to set this up is we're going to go to the tools menu in OBS, then you go down to the source copy menu and then you select the load scene option. And then in the finder window you select the version of the overlay that you want to use yourself. So either version 1 or version 2. Select that and then OBS automatically makes the scene for you. It adds all the sources and all the filters that we need. And after you've done that, you are ready to go to the next step, which is installing everything in Leo on board. Now that we've set our scenes up in OBS, we can move on to Leo on board. And there we actually have to add the deck that is going to control everything. So open up your Leo on board, make sure that it's fully connected to both OBS and Twitch, and then click the install extension button. From that, we're going to browse to the folder that we just created from our zip file. And there you will find the .lbe installer file. Select that, and then sometimes Leon Board asks you for your location of your TSL transmitter. Also select that, click OK, and then within a couple of seconds you should see the deck appear at the bottom of your list in Leon Board. And once that happens, you know that it's installed properly. Now, after you've installed the deck, there's one thing that you need to do to make sure that this effect is going to work properly. You need to open the deck in Leon Board, and there you will see two buttons for the two different versions of this effect. Now the next step is pretty important. Select the button of the version that we didn't use, and then right click on it and select Edit Twitch Triggers. Here you will see two different chat triggers and you need to delete both of them. This basically deactivates this button because we're not going to use this version. However, it's still there if you ever decide in the future to change your mind and you want to switch to another version, you can simply add these Twitch triggers back and it'll work all the same. Now once we've done that, the effect is basically set up and you are good to go. If you want to test it out yourself, you can go to your Twitch chat and you can type in exclamation mark SO and then the name of the channel that you want to shout out. And then in OBS, you should see the animation appear instantly. Now, of course, we created a new scene for this effect in OBS, but it doesn't show up on all your other scenes. So what you need to do is you need to add this newly created scene as a nested scene to all the scenes where you want the shout out to appear. And if you don't like the current position of the animation, make sure that you change the position of the nested scene and not that of the sources within our source scene. And that's basically it. Once you've done that, you are good to go and you can start using this effect. However, there are a couple of things that you can customize to really make this effect look right for your stream. Let me show you how to do that. And depending on the version of the effect that you chose, there are a couple of things that you can customize. In version one, you can customize the color of the bar that appears and of course the font of the URL that shows below that. The way we do that is we go into the bar source and there you can change the color from the color picker or of course you can use a hex code to use your own color. Same goes for the font, select the source for the font, select the properties and there you can change the font as well. In version two, you can actually change the gradient background and you can change the font of the title and the URL as well. 
And basically it works the same thing. Select the gradient background, select the properties, and there you can change the two colors of the gradient. And the same goes for the two text sources. You can change the fonts over there as well. And lastly, you can also change the chat message that appears. If you want to do that, you need to go into Leo and board and then into the button of the version that you just installed. And then somewhere in the middle, you will see a switch chat message command. You can change the entire text, but make sure that you keep the variables intact. Otherwise, they don't actually show you the name and the URL of the person that you are shouting out. And of course, we also show the game that they were playing. So if you also want to do that, make sure that you leave that variable intact as well. And once you've done all that, the last thing that you have to do is you need to run the command twice yourself. If you run it the first time, it does all of that and then it actually moves off screen. And then once you do it again, you can see if it is exactly the way you like it. So again, simply type in your chat exclamation mark SO followed by a channel name and do the same thing again once the animation is over to make sure that everything is running smoothly. And that's basically it. That's how easy it is to install this delicious shoutout widget into your own stream using OBS and Leo on board. I'm hoping that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please consider leaving a thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel and of course ring that bell so you know exactly when my next video goes live. And speaking of live, I stream over on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday and Friday where I like to play a variety of games and I always love interacting with my audience. So if you would like to drop on by don't be afraid to say hi in chat because i always like to get to know you guys well that's it for me for today thank you so much for watching this video and as always my name is mr delicious you have all been extremely delicious yourselves as well take care have a good one and i'll see you in the next video did you actually carve that wooden bear Dicks! oh geez <laughs> sure did <laughs> that oh, was I... a long time ago I was like, wait, why is he yelling? I th that was perfect timing. That was great timing. I thought this guy was like mad that we asked him something. And, and he was like, hey, what are you saying? That was perfect timing.